Hey guys! Okay, so I am here to answer um, Rising Star Talent Magazine's 20 questions, and I'm going to do it on my phone. Um, so, uh, I'm Morgan Lilly, and let's get started. Question 1. At what age did you start acting? I was three weeks, and my dad's racquetball agent, because he was a professional racquetball player, um, got me into acting. Question two, what was your very first acting role? It was a Disney print at three weeks. It was my first audition, like, ever, and um, I got it, and it was just me, like, in a, a blanket advertising Disney, like, baby clothes. Uh, question three, what is your favorite part about acting? Either, like, traveling or hotels or um, meeting new people or, you know, along in that lines, it's amazing working with new directors because, you know, every time you work with a director, it's just so fun. And um, traveling so great. I, you know, I've gone to Paris and Tokyo and so many places. And it's so amazing being able to, like, travel to all these places and staying in hotels. I absolutely adore door hotels. Um, something about hotels atmosphere really just makes me happy. Um, question four, what is the most challenging part about acting? Okay, either reacting to nothing or leaving like on set after such a long time working with these people that you made friends with and you bonded with and that you absolutely love with all your heart. That is so challenging. Um, but reacting to nothing, like in 2012, I had to pretend, you know, like there was on fire, you know, like asteroids that were on fire coming down at us and that, you know, the world was collapsing and things were falling and people were dying and trains were crashing and planes were, you know, and all that was really there was a blue screen and a few actors that was, that was, you know, put in front of it. And, um, it was so amazing, you know. It, it's very hard to react to that kind of thing, but um, once you got used to it, it's really fun, and it was amazing to see what it actually looked like on screen once it was done. I mean, it was just like, it was blue, and now it's so crazy. Um, question five, what acting projects have you done? I've done 2012, uh, X-Men First Class, He's Just Not That Into You, Flipped, um, Love's Everlasting Courage, and a few others. You know, I've done a CSI, and I've done a Criminal Minds, and... Um, numerous commercials and okay question six which acting project has been the most memorable for you to work on and why it would have to be 2012 um because it was my first big big movie after henry pool was here i mean that wasn't huge and it was my first like really big movie and i was traveling and i got to work with john cusack and amanda pete and woody harrelson and danny glover and just amazing people so it was very memorable to work on and all those special effects and those crazy CGI and everything it was just nuts and it was very memorable to work on uh, question number seven if you could act alongside anyone in the future who would it have to be it would have to be Steve Carell I love Steve Carell I think he's such an awesome actor and um, I just absolutely love Steve Carell so yeah because awesome. My mom's walking in the door. So, question eight. If you could... Oh, no, that's my brother. Question eight. If you could work on a set of a movie anywhere in the world, where would it be? Oh, okay. Either New York, Hawaii, or Disneyland. I think those would be really cool places to work on because I've never been to New York or Hawaii. And I've been to Paris and London, but I've never been to New York or Hawaii. Um, I've been to Disneyland, but that, I think it'd be really fun to work on a set on Disneyland. But maybe, maybe New York, and then Disneyland, and then Hawaii. Question number nine. Are you working on any acting projects right now? Um, actually, in January, I am going to be filming a movie in New York, so I'm super excited. Um... And it's kind of like a fairy tale, and that's going to be really awesome. And there's a lot of other things that are kind of, you know, piecing together right now. Um, question 10. Do you have any advice for anyone wanting to act as a career or just advice in general about careers? Um, never give up. You know, if you 
know you're good at something, but you're maybe not doing it right, just never give up, because you will get there no matter what happens. And, um, acting, um, I don't even know what to say about acting. Just be as natural as possible, you know, take advice, uh, maybe get some classes. I've never actually had a class, because it just went so well, and I don't know. I've never really had a class, but it's a good thing to take classes, because they will really, really help you classes. Question 11. What is your favorite past TV show? Mm. The Office. I loved The Office, but when Steve Carell left, it wasn't it wasn't as funny. So, what is your favorite current TV show? Hmm. I don't watch that many TV shows like regularly. Regu regularly, I don't watch any TV shows actually regularly right now. But um, let's see. That one was discontinued, or I don't know. Um, maybe still The Office if it's still running. I think it's it's it is still running. I think it's still really funny, and that's the only show I still do watch currently. But yeah. Um, so same answer for both of them. Uh, question thirteen: If you were stuck in one TV show, which would it have to be? Obviously, The Office, but maybe the past Office. If it was something right now. I don't know what I would be stuck on. I gotta think about this, because I feel like I do watch a TV show, but I'm just not thinking of it. I don't know. Um, oh, there's my doggy. Hi, doggy. Um, so maybe The Office in the past. Or if Steve Crow came back. Question number 14. What is your favorite past movie? Um, Seeking a Friend for the End of the World. Steve Carell again. Um, I love that movie. I think it was so good. Uh, when I saw it, you know, I, I didn't think it was going to be as good as it was. And that's what made me like Steve Carell, was Seeking Friend for the End of the World. And it was so sad. But I would definitely recommend go see that or get it on DVD because it's, I think, out of theaters now. What was the... Okay, question 15. What was the last movie you saw in the movie theater? Hmm... Hope Springs. I just saw Hope Springs with Steve Carell again. <laughs> um, yeah, that was the last one I saw. It was really funny. And Meryl Streep and Tommy Lee Jones. and yeah. Question number 16. Who is your favorite Disney princess? I was never really into princesses, but if I had to pick maybe Rapunzel, like the new Rapunzel. Not the old Rapunzel, but the new Rapunzel. And then maybe Pocahontas and Cinderella. But I like Rapunzel, because I like long hair. But I cut my hair for something I was doing. My hair used to be, like, like down to, like, here or something. It, it was really long. Uh, question 17. What is one thing you cannot live without? Okay, one thing, acting. And then if I had to pick other things, I'm really going off rules. Um, if I had to pick a few other things, it'd be fashion and makeup. And my iPhone. Fashion is, like, amazing. Look at these heart glasses. Aren't they amazing? I got them from Urban Outfitters. And makeup. I love, like, mascara and eyeshadow and, like, lip gloss and blush. And I love those. And my iPhone is, like, it's my life. I do my lines on this. I play games. I contact my friends. But this is really important. Um, question 18. What is your favorite thing to do in your free time? Uh, shop. Shop for, like, clothes and makeup. I don't get to do that that much, but I like looking around. I mean, I get shopping money when I book something, so, um, you know, just look around and, you know, occasionally get some makeup and fun stuff like that. What is your favorite subject in school? Question 19. Um, hands down, like, language arts, language arts, English, like, reading comprehension and essay writing and verbs and adjectives, all, about all that kind of, you know, Along those lines. Um, question 20. What is your favorite restaurant, food place in California? Okay. If you're from California, you'll know this. If you're not, you won't know this. But if you're coming out here, then I would definitely recommend going there. It's called Shy of Venice. And it's in Venice. And it's such a great place. And I get the truffle filet mignon, and it is so, so good. It's a little bit expensive, and it's more fancy. But it's a great dinner place to go to. I don't go there that much. Normally when I book a job or 
when I get back from a job, I go there, or just for my birthday, or sometimes for fun. And question number 21, do you have any pets? I have four dogs. Um, I have a Great Dane, an Australian Shepherd, a Lab mixed with Dalmatian, and a Chihuahua. I have two cats. I have a Tabby Cat, a Siamese. I have a bird. I think it's like a cockatiel, maybe? Yeah. Yeah. And it has like a spiky thing on its head, and it's all white. It doesn't talk. It never learns to talk. And some fish. We used to have more, but um, they passed away. Question number 22. If you had a soundtrack to your life, what song songs would be on it? Okay, I'm going to go look through my iTunes right now because that's a hard one. Okay. As Long As You Love Me. Um, All Around the World. Those are both Justin Bieber. Baby, Justin Bieber. Bangarang, Skrillex. Um, let's see. Boyfriend, oh my gosh, boyfriend. Um, want you back, Cher Lloyd. Uh, let's see. My face is itchy. Cinema, a Skrillex again. Um, clumsy, Fergie. Uh, let's see. Ooh, okay. Feel so close, Calvin Harris. Girlfriend, Avril Lavigne. Um, hello, Martin Solovig and Dragonette. Hollywood, Michael Buble. Home, Edward Sharp and Magnetic Zeros. Hot and Cold, Katy Perry. Um, I Believe in a Thing Called Love, The Darkness. Um, Road to Nowhere, Talking Heads. And, um, you know, those kind of songs. I have weird, quirky songs I like. Question 23, what charity is closest to your heart? Um, I donate to all charities every year. Um, but closest to my heart was maybe Ronald McDonald uh, Cancer Foundation because my cousin passed away from cancer and he was there. So that was probably closest to my heart. Um, last question, question 24. Do you have a favorite quote or saying that is always on your mind? Rolling Stones... Oh, no, Rolling Stones, um, why well, I going to say that wrong? Sticks and stones may break my bones, but words will never hurt me. I love that saying, um, I say it to everybody because it's such an important thing to, you know, you know, have kind of programmed in your head, um, because so many people are insecure about themselves because people just really beat them down, and it's such a horrible thing to see that. So, sticks and stones may break my bones, but words will just never hurt you. Because as long as you know you're a good person, I mean, it shouldn't affect you at all. Because even, you know, me, I get haters, and it's hard to deal with stuff like that, but whatever. Okay, guys, awesome. Um, I hope you liked the interview, and yeah. Okay, bye.